Hey guys, today is a very exciting day for our channel. We've got our very first sponsor, IT. IT makes this amazing product called Sonoff, and they very kindly sent me the new Sonoff Basic R3 and the 5 to 24 volt Sonoff SV. Now, the opinions on this video is on my own. I have bought a few Sonoff Basics and their light switches, and I was so impressed with their product that I reached out to them and asked if they would sponsor the video, which they said yes. A special thanks to Vicky for organizing it. So check out their website, it.cc. I'll put it down in the link below. Uh, there's some amazing products there on their site. Hopefully I can review some more in the future. So they sent me the Sonoff Basic 3rd Edition, but I've got several of the 1st Edition, and I think I've got a few 2nd Editions that are already installed. I've got these things installed all over my office. I've got three LED lights that I uh, run with them on my 3D printer, uh, above my work area, above my workbench. And I've also got uh, some light switches, which is similar to this one here. This is a single light switch. I've got the double light switch downstairs that runs my, um, my scheduled items. So it turns on the front light on a schedule, which is one of the beautiful things with this app that you can do is you can set a schedule, turn it on at a specific time, turn it off at a specific time. Often when I go away on holiday, I run a few of these things around with different schedules for different days, just turning them on and off during the night so it looks like we're at home. Um, so the sort of basic is a very, very simple switch, basic. Uh, you have an input, you have an output, and uh, you can control the device from it. The initial iteration of this uh, had a push button here that was just to program the Wi-Fi, but now... Uh, it allows you to turn the unit on and off, which is a nice new feature that was in the upgraded software. I've seen from Sonoff, from IT, that they have been upgrading this, the software quite a bit lately. So they sent me the third revision of this, of the Sonoff Basic, and you'll see the difference between the, the new one and the old one. So the old one, had this basic case here, a button and a single LED telling you that you were connected to the, net, to the network or to the uh, Wi-Fi. The new one's a little bit nicer. It's got the Wi-Fi LED, and you've also got a is the power on or power off uh, indicator, which is really friendly and nice. This whole thing is controlled from your cell phone, really easy to set up. I'll demonstrate that in a few minutes, uh, but it's very easy to set up. You control everything from your cell phone. Uh, and also you can integrate it into things like Google Home, uh, Amazon Home, Google Nest, and there's a couple of other that support uh, the Sonoff. So the API has been distributed around and it's starting to grow some great traction with common uh, home automation systems. So I'm really excited to see this and to see how this goes. So shall we connect up our first uh, Sonoff and connect it up to a light and show you how it works because it really is a beautiful unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this son off here. I'm going to pop it open. So with this one here, you pop the whole case off and it, it exposes the uh, connectors. You've got your input side and your output side. So I've got a little desk lamp here and let's connect that up. And then the live connects. Now, I know that people say that uh, it's not too safe to be playing around with live wires and to be cutting off wires and connecting it in this way. But remember, this is just one of their units. This is the son of basic. They've got other ones which are plugs. They've actually got a very cool plug that tells you how much power it's drawing. Sorry, actually, that's more like the son of basic. But it tells you how much power it's drawing. In fact, the plug, I think there is a plug unit that uh, also tells you that how much power you're drawing on the app. I must get my hands on some of those. So I've just got a power cable here. Okay, there we go. So now uh, we've got it connected up to our our power that well, the the uh, the load that we want to put up it, and then we're going to put the power on this side. So let me just quickly plug this in. For safety, let's put this on first. So if you look here, there's a little indicator here, an indicator there. It shows you which way around this clips in, and it clips in. Now it isolates the circuit, making sure that you don't accidentally touch anything when there's power on. Let's plug it in. All right. So I connect it up. You'll see that the our Wi-Fi indicator is flashing, and uh, already without connecting to any cell phones or anything like that, I can press the button and turn it on, see the indicator shows that it's on, which is a nice new feature. I think I, I really like that in the new Sonoffs. And then now it's off. Okay, let's connect up our phone. Okay, so let's let's connect up uh, Ewing. So 
The app that comes with Sonoff, if you look in the instructions, there's a QR code that you can scan to download it. It's called UI Link. We open it up. Okay, to pair a device is really, really simple. If this indicator is not flashing three times, just press and hold the button for about three seconds, three to five seconds, and it will start flashing rapidly like that. You click plus, quick pairing, you add your Wi-Fi username and password. Next, and it will search for the device. In a few seconds, it will find it and it will assign it to your settings. There we go, so now it's found the second generation device. It's actually a third generation as far as I know, and it's assigned it. Okay, so now we can give it a, a name. So let's call it Demo Light. Right, press complete, and it's done. There it is at the top. So if I press it here, light turns on, press it, light turns off. That's awesome. You can go inside here, you've got schedules, so you can add a schedule, you can add timers, you can do loop timing, you can share it with friends. Say a friend comes down uh, and stays with you for a little while, uh, you can share the, the link, the UE link with them, and you can share this specific device for a certain period of time. You can also, um, over the air updates to your Sonoff, you can see that it's saying that there's a new version available. So yeah, that's it for UE link. Now, as I said earlier on, uh, it does allow you to connect to Google Home. So let's do that quickly. So we'll go to Google Home. Let's add a new device. Okay, set up a device and works with Google. So not a new device, it works with Google. And we go and manage our account. So now we go and search through and we look, off, look for, well, let's just search. And we say smart, there we go, smart we link. This is the interface to allow you to connect your, uh, your Google Home directly to your iwi link. So we'll quickly do this. All right, so we authorize Google to use it. And there we go, linking your smart WeLink account. So now it'll link my account for my uh, UI link to this. Now, another thing I want to mention about these, uh, these Sonoffs is that beforehand, they used to only work uh, when you were on the internet. If the internet went down, your Sonoff stopped working. They fixed that now, and it works over LAN as well. So if you're in the LAN in the area and you turn your light on or off, uh, it will uh, turn on and off even if you're not connected to the internet. But also, if you are at work and you want to turn a light on, you can do so. Uh, you can set up with Google Home. You can set up scenarios as you come home from work. As you open something, it, it triggers off and turns on all the lights. So, right. There we have it inside Google Home. So, demo light is there. I can turn it on. There's a little bit of delay. There we go. From Google Home. So, really nice. Uh, it's a great, great... Things so I can say, okay, Google. Turn on demo light. There we go. From Google Assistant, turning on demo light. So this is now integrated fully into Google Home. You can use it with your, your Google Boxes, with your Alexa. Uh, it works with Samsung Smart Things, but you need a Samsung Smart Hub in order to make that work. Hello, my cat. Right, so we can turn the light off, and there we go. So that is a Sonoff Basic. Sonoff also sent me this 12-volt uh, unit. I'll put another video for this 12-volt unit. Uh, well, it's it's 5 to 24 volts, and it's quite useful where you can connect up lower voltages. This is generally for high voltage, your, your mains line coming into your house, and this is for your lower voltage units. You can use it to open gates and uh, garage doors and that kind of thing. Guys, let me know what you think about this video. Support IT, uh, a great bunch of guys. Uh, Vicky has been fantastic in giving me one of these units. And uh, we hope to see you back soon. That's it for today. Check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This helps us understand what you would like to see. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing to our channel and press the notification icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Post comments. Let us know what you want to see. Tell us if you like this video or if there's any other subject matter that you would like to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We buy everything ourselves in this channel and really want to grow this channel. God bless you guys. Love you guys and see you soon. Cheers.